Auburn, Alabama, sophomore Auburn left-hander Jack Owen was at his best when he was called upon. Two freshmen made sure he got the fruits of his labor without putting a ball in play as Auburn beat Georgia Southern 4-3 in 13 innings to win the weekend series two games to one. Freshman center fielder Kaysen Howell drew a four-pitch walk from Georgia Southern right-hander Tristan Roberts to drive home the winning run. He got that opportunity when second baseman Ryan Bliss, also a freshman, battled his way to a walk on a 3-2 pitch. That run made a winner of Owen, who pitched four and two-thirds strong innings, giving up four hits, walking two and striking out four. And thus ended a long and hard weekend for the Tigers, who fell 7-5 on Saturday in another 13-inning game in 111-2 on Friday. In the top of the 13th, shortstop Will Holland, Bliss and first baseman Rankin Woolley combined on a nifty double. Holland stayed in front of a smash off the bat of Tyler Martin, bobbled it momentarily, threw to Bliss, who made a terrific turn and threw to Woolley, who made terrific stretch at first to end the inning. Woolley started the ninth by crushing a line drive to left that hit the fence so quickly he was held to a single. Edouard Julian walked to put runners on first and second. Pinch runner Jackson Henderson was thrown out on Connor Davis's attempted sacrifice. But Bliss and Howell walked and it was finally over 4 hours and 34 minutes. It was a little nerve-wracking, I'm not going to lie, Howell said, but it turned out good, Thompson said he was proud to win the game and the series, but much work remains. I thought we played slightly tight and had tension in our game for two days. Thompson said, I, thankful to win a series, always. I know they have a veteran ball club that played the game so well. We're very fortunate to win. I like our club seeing after seeing out first weekend. It's just a starting point. As the offense struggled to string hits together, four pitchers kept the Tigers in the game. Starter Kyle Gray, a junior college transfer left-hander, gave up two hits and two unearned runs in three innings. Bailey Horn, another junior college transfer left-hander, pitched three shutout innings and gave up two hits. Freshman right-hander Richard Fitz gave a run on two hits in two and a third innings. And no one took it from there. Owen didn't expect to pitch Sunday. He was scheduled to be the starter in Tuesday's game against Alabama A. Pitching coach Steve Smith told him he might be needed in Sunday's game. And he was. I was getting ready to go start lifting and do a bullpen before Tuesday and coach Steve Smith said, if it's close we might need you so be ready today. I was getting ready to go start lifting and do a bullpen before Tuesday and coach Smith said, if it's close we might need you so be ready today, Owen said. I felt really confident. It's all about building confidence in your ability and your pitches and everything you've got. For me, that was a huge confidence builder and even before that I felt really confident going into it. They wanted to give me the ball and I felt really good about it. Georgia Southern scored two runs in the second inning with the help of errors by Julian at third and Holland at shortstop, a walk a hit batter. Auburn got its first run in the third when Jed Ward singled and scored on Holland's double. Julian's rare inside the park home run off the left field wall tied it in the eighth. Things got crazy in the top of the ninth. An obstruction call and a steal of third base led to the Eagles having runners on second and third with one out. Noah Searcy struck out swinging on a pitch in the dirt. When Auburn catcher Matt Scheffler threw to first, Jason Swan broke for the plate and slid in just under the tag to tie the game. That's the way it stayed until the 13th. Ward, Holland, Woley and Davis each had two of Auburn's 10 hits. Auburn is scheduled to play Alabama A at Plainsman Park.